Hello ka Math Learners! Welcome again sa Learn Math Beach. Ito ang Part 5 ng 2020 MTOP Reviewer Elimination Rounds Grade 4. Nagtapos tayo na nakaraan sa problem number 20, kaya dito na tayo sa problem number 21. Again, these are only the selected problems. Problem number 21. Lenny listed all the numbers from 1 to 50. She was told to erase every fifth number. Then after erasing every fifth number, she was told to erase all remaining odd numbers. What is the difference between the smallest and the largest numbers that were left? So kagaya ng ating solution, sa clue number 1 natin, i-erase daw ni Lenny ang every fifth number from 1 to 50. It means that aalisin niya lahat ng divisible by 5 between 1 to 50. For example, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Hanggang 50 aalisin yung lahat ng divisible by 5. Clue number 2, erase all odd numbers from 1 to 50. I erase din ni Lenny lahat ng odd numbers. Halimbawa, ang lahat ng odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on, 47, 49, are all Odd numbers, aalisin yung lahat yun. Between 1 to 50. Kukunin muna natin ang largest number at mamaya yung smallest number. Kasi sabi sa problem, what is the difference between the smallest and the largest number that were left? Yung natira na smallest number at largest number, isa subtract natin sila. So dito muna tayo sa largest number. Ang alam natin, hindi pwedeng 50 ang largest. Bakit? Kasi ang 50 ay divisible by 5. Next, 49. Hindi rin siya pwede maging largest. Bakit? Kasi odd number siya. Kasi sabi kanina, aalisin lahat ng odd numbers. Therefore, 48 is the largest number possible. Between 1 to 50. Bakit? Kasi ito ay hindi divisible by 5. At hindi rin siya odd number. Even number siya. So dito tayo sa smallest number. Ang number 1 ay hindi siya ang smallest number since it is an odd number. Therefore, 2 is the smallest number possible number between 1 to 50 since it is not divisible by 5 and it is not an odd number even number siya. so ima minus natin therefore 48 minus 2 equals 46 so the final answer is 46 next problem please problem number 22 a shirt that was originally priced 280 pesos was sold at a discounted price that is four-fifths of its original price how much was the discounted price sa ating solution guys imumultiply lang natin ang 280 pesos times four-fifths bakit natin imumultiply kasi sabi sa problem discounted price that is four-fifths of its original price ang original price is 280 so imumultiply lang natin 280 over 1 times 4 fifth. Ang sagot natin is 224. Bakit? Kasi na-cancel ang 5 and 280. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 280 divided by 5 is 56. 56 times 4 is 224 pesos. So, the final answer is 224 pesos. Next problem, please. Problem number 23. Teresa has a ribbon. She cuts it into 7 pieces of different lengths. The shortest piece is 20 cm long. If the length of the pieces of ribbon differs by 12 cm, how long was the original length of the ribbon in centimeter? Ang ating solution, using the formula of sum of arithmetic sequence, guys, meron tayong video tungkol dyan sa arithmetic sequence, full tutorial ito, Please check na lang this video mamaya. Pero patapusin muna tong video na to. I will give na lang the link on the description box below. So what are the given? The givens are N equals 7. N stands for number of terms. So there are 7 pieces of different lengths ng ribbons. Ang A sub 1 natin is first term is 20 cm. So A sub 1 equals 20. D equals 12. D stands for common difference. Ang hinahanap natin is S sub 7. Ilan lahat yung kabuuan, yung 7 ribbons na yun. Okay? So what is the formula in finding the sum of arithmetic sequence? Nagaya na makikita sa screen, ang ating formula is S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of 2 times A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times D. Substitution guys, so S sub 7 equals 7 over 2 times the quantity of 2 times 20 plus 
the quantity of 7 minus 1 times 12 end quantity. So guys, isa simplify mo na natin yung nandun sa parenthesis na nasa loob ng bracket. So 2 times 20, yun yung isa simplify natin tsaka 7 minus 1. So 2 times 20 is 40, 7 minus 1 is 6. So S sub 7 equals 7 over 2 times the quantity of 40 plus 6 times 12. So, ang unahin natin, PEMDAS rule. Meron tayong video din tungkol dyan. So, pakicheck na lang tong video na ito mamaya. I will give na lang the link on the description box below. So, 6 times 12 muna ha. Multiplication muna. So, 6 times 12 equals 72. S sub 7 equals 7 over 2 times 40 plus 72. 40 plus 72 is 112. So, 7 over 2 times 112 over 1. So, makakancel ang 2 at saka 112. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 112 divided by 2 is 56. 7 times 56 equals 392 cm. So guys, pwede naman ninyong imano-mano, no? Na yung ribbons, nagsimula siya sa 20 cm, right? Tapos plus 12, plus 12 na lang. Ganon din yung kakalabasan niya, guys. So, i-add mo sila lahat. 392 cm din yung sagot. Pero kung ayaw mong magmano-mano, meron lang isang formula and then substitution ka lang, guys. Yun yung formula natin, sum of arithmetic sequence. Actually, sa grade 10 nyo pa siya talaga matatalakay, pero mas advanced kasi sa ang top na mga questions na iba. Pero, kagaya na sinabi ko, pwede nyo namang imano-mano na 20 plus 12 because 32, 32 plus 12 because 44, and so on so forth. And then, i-add mo na lang sila. Pwede rin naman iyon. So, the final answer is 392 cm. Next problem, please. Problem number 24, a 366 cm pile of cardboard is composed of red and blue cardboards. Each red cardboard is 15 cm thick, while the blue cardboard is 18 cm thick each. If there are 10 red cardboards, how many blue cardboards are there in the pile? So, ang tinatanong, ilan yung blue cardboard? So, meron tayong given. Ang given natin kanina is meron tayong 10 red cardboards at each red cardboard is 15 centimeter thick. So, step 1 natin guys is subtract muna natin ang 366 centimeter minus the quantity of 10 red cardboards times 15 centimeter. So, 10 times 15 is 150. Isa subtract natin siya sa 366 centimeter. So, 366 centimeter minus 150 centimeter is equivalent to 216 centimeter. Step 2 natin guys, i-divide natin ang 216 divided by 18 centimeter. Bakit? Kasi ang 18 cm each ang thickness ng blue cardboard. Kasi ang tinatanong, ilan ba yung blue cardboard na nandoon? So, i-divide natin. 216 divided by 18 cm equals 12. 12 pieces. Or 12 blue cardboard. Or simply 12. So, the final answer is 12. Kahit wala ng units, guys. Kasi nasa question na din yung sabi kasi, if there are 10 red cardboards, how many blue cardboards? So, nandun na kasi yung units sa mismong tanong. Kaya, kahit 12 lang yung sagot. Next problem, please. Last but not the least. Problem number 25, Mary bought three crates of mangoes. The first crate of mangoes weighs 42 kilograms. The second is 8 kilograms more than the first. And the third is 2 kilograms less than the second crate. How many kilograms of mangoes does she have in all? So, ang ating solution guys, meron tayong given. First crate of mangoes daw ay, ay tumiting bang ng 42 kilograms. Second crate is sabi dun sa problem, 8 kilograms more than the first. So, ibig sabihin guys, dadagdagan natin ng 8 na kilo yung first crate. So, 42 kilograms plus 8 kilograms equals 50 kilograms. So, ang ating second crate of mangoes, I 50 kilograms. Okay? So, dun tayo sa third crate, sabi sa problem, 2 kilograms less than the second. Ang second natin kanina is 50 kilograms. So, 50 minus. Napansin nyo guys, yung, yung keywords is less than. Ibig sabihin, ma-minus na natin ng 2 kilograms. So, 50 minus 2 equals 40. So, mayroon na tayong first crate equals 42. Second crate equals 50. Third crate of mangoes is 48. Therefore, i-add natin sila 42 plus 50 plus 48 kilograms equals 140 kilograms. So, the final answer is 140 kilograms.
kilograms. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panood ng video na ito. Kung nakatulong sa iyo, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. Pakiabangan mo ang part 6 and 7 ng 2020 MTOP Reviewer Grade 4 Elimination Rounds. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because in our channel, you will find and learn a simple, and clear explanation to math lessons and ideas and also a step-by-step -step solution sa mga math problems para ma-improve mo rin ang problem-solving skills like MTOP contests katulad nito. Kung bago ka pa lang sa ating YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and also please turn on the notification bell para wala kayo ma-miss na ating mga recent and exciting mga uploads. Okay, laging tandaan ang ating outro message. Ever problem? There is and there's always has a solution. So love lots, keep smiling, and keep learning. Bye!